joy is infectious. When you see other people smiling, I think it makes you want to smile as well. And the Christmas story is filled with joy, from the joy of new first-time parents to the joy of the shepherds who are honoured disproportionately, right through to the joy that the wise men experienced when they, they followed that star and they finally met Jesus. Matthew chapter 2 records the, the wise men, the Magi, if you like, coming to visit Jesus. This is what it says. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, wise men from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? They'd seen his star at its rising, and they'd come to worship him. King Herod heard about this. Um, he was obviously a little bit put out by it, the, the news that another king was around. So they inquired about where this was and he asks the wise men whether they'd let him know when they finally found the baby. This is what uh, happened then. After hearing the king, they went on their way and there it was, the star they had seen at its rising. It led them until it came and stopped above the place where the child was. And when they saw the star, they were overwhelmed with joy because of what it meant, because it meant that they'd found this king of the Jews, this long promised one. Entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell to their knees and they worshipped him. And they presented him with gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Now it strikes me that the story of Jesus's birth or the reality of Jesus's birth was a cause of great joy and celebration and even worship for virtually everyone involved in the story. And I wonder sometimes whether that's true for us, whether we encounter the story of Jesus's birth and it fills us with the same sort of joy. I guess my encouragement or my challenge this morning is to, to ask if it doesn't, why not? That should unsettle us. If this good news, if Jesus being born is such good news, such joy inducing news for other people, and it has been for centuries and millennium since then, but it's not for us. Does that mean perhaps that we've missed out on something? Does that perhaps mean that we don't quite fully understand what Jesus coming means? I think Christmas is a time for us to reflect. What is it that caused them to be overwhelmed with joy, even to the point of worshipping? To ask ourselves, do we, do we understand that good news? And is it prompting the same sort of response from us? Have a think. Um, meditate on that for a while. Merry Christmas. Davo.